Yellow Jake, and today I have a new pickup to share with you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, yeah, got this bad boy on eBay for about 70 bucks or so American, and uh, well, ironically enough, probably a quarter of that was shipping because, well, <laughs> this thing did come from Canada, so yeah, took about two weeks to get here, which. I mean, no scan off my back, you know. <laughs> Again, you know, the whole COVID, corona, whatever you want to say, you know, 2022. <laughs> yeah, pretty much this is just the new norm at this point, which is unfortunate, too. And, uh, yeah, but I mean, all in all, though, you know, all that stuff aside, though, this is a really nice jersey. And this particular jersey is an alternate for this team that they recently, I guess, retired or put on the back burner or whatever the case is. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure they retired this. And it was around from about 2018 season or so through, well, this past season. And uh, <laughs> this is also a name and number jersey. And this particular player, well, was a number two overall pick in da, 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 2016 that's right ladies and gentlemen this particular jersey is from Winnipeg that's right so hence why it took a while to get here and also kind of a funny story about that too real quick before I show the jersey here um, <laughs> so yeah when I got the thing in the mail today Basically, the seller had it in like a cereal box that was wrapped in tape. And I mean wrapped in tape and stuffed inside of a, uh, well, what can only be assumed to be like a grocery store bag or like a department store bag. And like I say, I'm not from Winnipeg. I've never been to Winnipeg, so I don't really know a lot about <laughs> Winnipeg or stuff like that or, you know, whatever. But yeah, it's just kind of interesting, though, because... That's why I didn't do an unboxing. I just decided to show it off for a pickup because pff, otherwise that probably would have taken me about an hour to open the thing. Because, <laughs> I mean, it, you know, you've seen those packages where it's just, like, literally all tape. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing was literally sitting in a bag inside of an overly taped cereal box. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. There's enough protection there, and this jersey's no worse for wear. And, yeah. So, as I mentioned before, too, this is a jersey of an NHL team who recently has been getting hit with a lot of COVID issues. In fact, I think they are they were paused for a very long time. Their AHL affiliates are very depleted. And, well, as you can imagine, with it being from Winnipeg, it is a Winnipeg Jets jersey. And, also with my hint earlier former number two overall pick in the 2016 NHL draft who just ironically enough got traded last year to da, 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 the Columbus Blue Jackets which sound like they might be trading him to another t <laughs> I mean this guy was compared a lot to like Austin Matthews when they were you know first in the same draft together but Definitely would say right now it seems like Austin Matthews is getting all the hype and all the attention, but that could also be because they're in Toronto. And like I say, this particular jersey is of an old style that just recently was retired. Boom. So yeah, as you can tell, it is a Winnipeg Jets aviator blue baseball themed jersey i mean i've heard this thing called the baseball jersey i've heard this thing called several things but i think they technically called it their aviator jersey and that's right ladies and gentlemen as i mentioned name and numbered with the one and only patrick line that's right patrick line was and still is a really solid player it's just he's been kind of hit with the injury bug over the last couple of seasons which <laughs> you know it led him to being traded to Columbus because of some disagreement up in Winnipeg with Paul Maurice and all those guys. And <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, 
And like I said before too, these guys have been getting hit really hard recently with COVID and all that stuff. It seems like a lot of the Canadian teams, as I mentioned before too, are basically playing roulette with their games at this point. Like, I mean, most of the time, you know, it's just like, because <laughs> it pretty much for most of the fan bases up there locked, you know, basically kind of went to the bubble where no player, you know, where fans aren't really allowed in the stadium at all. <laughs> And, well, and like I say, I can make, like, a whole news video about that, too. But let's just say because of that, the Wild have only played, like, five games. And this is a division opponent with the Wild who we were supposed to play on Monday. But, obviously, postponed and all that stuff. Yeah, coming back to the jersey now because, yeah, there's a lot to digest with this season. And, holy crap, oh, I have a feeling this is only going to get crazier. So, so yeah. One of my favorite parts of this jersey is the same, the We Are True North. This is a size 56 from Adidas. It's a climb light. The NHL Shield with the cursive aviator font Jets logo on the front. The striping on the side with the dark blue piping and the baby blue. The 29. And by the way, this is just the normal Adidas stitching and stuff like that this isn't like the cool hockey custom or you know the custom 12 this is just like how you would if you walked into a store in winnipeg to pick one of these up and as you can tell here no buttons so this is a 2018 plus on the back the adidas logo line a single stitched on a nameplate and as well as the Normal stitching again with the Adidas on the uh, back. And since it is an Adidas, fight strap. So, yeah, no, that'll basically conclude this video. And, well, <coughs> as I said before, Patrick Lyonne is one of those players that is, you know, when he's on, he's a game changer. But due to injuries and this, that, and the other thing. He just could never really quite get it going these last couple seasons or so. But, yeah, not to mention this particular uh, Winnipeg Jets jersey got traded out for, well, their heritage jerseys. You know, like the blue and red heritage jersey, which, I mean, don't get me wrong. Those heritage jerseys are some smacksy mothers. But, I mean, all in all, though, I'm not complaining because... Got this thing for, like I say, around 70 bucks. And again, Patrick Line is still an amazing player. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting, you know, end of the season to see if the NHL actually can basically finish the season the way they want to. So, but yeah, no, like I say, that'll pretty much wrap this up. So, uh, yeah, until we meet again, this is Jacob. Stay tuned, because the Wild do play tomorrow night, hopefully. Because <laughs> like I said before, at this point, it's just like a roll of the dice, spin of the wheel to see if these games are even going to be played. So, but, yeah. <laughs> so until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good day.